This is a fairly common question type on college entrance tests such as uh, UpCat and uh, GRE and GMAT. Uh, we are asked to find the value of an inverse function at a particular value. So we're given f of x equals x cubed add x, 6x squared add 12x add 13. And we're asked to find the inverse function uh, at the value 5. Now you might think that we need to find the inverse function first, but finding the inverse function of this is no easy matter. Um, and in actual fact, there's a better way of doing it anyway. So let's just imagine that, um, let's go right back to the basics and imagine that this blue line here is uh, f of x and this green one, which is the reflection in the line y equals x is f minus one of x. And let's just see, let's imagine we have a point here, a, and we apply uh, the function to that a, and that gives us there will be f of a, which is going across here, that's f of a here. And then let's imagine that we apply f of a, let's move it down here, to the inverse function up here. That will take us back to a. So basically, what we have done, when we apply a, and then we apply it to the inverse function, we get right back where we started. Now morph, that's basically the definition of an inverse. More formally is if we say we have f of x and we apply the inverse to f of x, we get back where we started. Okay, how can we apply that to here? Well, okay, well, let's let, for example, a equal f minus 1 of 5, which is what we want to find. Um, so let's, therefore, f of a equals f of f minus 1 of 5. And we've just established that f of f minus 1 of 5 is the same thing as f minus 1 of f of 5. It doesn't matter whether we go forwards and backwards or backwards and forwards. That equals 5. We get right back where we started. So therefore, we know that f of a equals 5, remembering that a is what we want to find. Okay, now we know that f of a, we know f of x is x cubed add 6x squared add 12x add 13. So therefore, we know f of a is a cubed add 6a squared add 12a add 13. And we know that equals 5. So therefore, a cubed add 6a squared add 12a add 8 equals 0. Um, and now what we can do is we need to try and find the solution to this. And fortunately, this is a plus 2 cubed equals 0. If you expand that a plus 2 cubed, you get a cubed add 6a squared add 12a add 8. And so therefore, the answer is a equals minus 2. And so a, given that a is f minus 1 of 5, we have found our solution f minus 1 of 5 is minus 2. Now, you might think... Um, that we could do this by finding the inverse, and we can, and I'll just show you quickly how to do it by finding the inverse. Um, first of all, um, it's worth noting that most cubics actually don't have an inverse because most cubics are shaped like that, and so therefore they would fail the horizontal test, um, and there wouldn't be a one-to-one -one mapping. But certain cubics do, and that's cubics of the form y equals ax add b cubed plus or minus c. So if there's just an inflection point, for example, the cubic looking something along the lines of that, then it does not fail the horizontal test and it can have an inverse. So in actual fact, given that there is no restriction on the domain in the question, we can be pretty sure that this function here is of the form ax plus b cubed plus or minus c. And therefore, we can try and find the inverse. So let's go. Um, so if we got uh, y equals... Uh, what was the question again? Y equals x cubed add 6x squared add 12x add 13. Given that we know probably it's only got an inflection point and, and, and therefore it hasn't got um, more than one root, uh, we could therefore say um, to find the inverse we go x equals y cubed add 6y squared add 12y add 13. And so now what we need to do is factorise this and we will find that it's y plus 2 cubed plus 5 um, and therefore we have x minus 5 equals y plus 2 cubed therefore y equals the cube root of x minus 5 minus 2 and that is the inverse function and if we then put minus 5 in there uh, sorry 5 in there which is what the question asks f minus 1 of 5 here. If we then put 5 in there, we will find that y equals the cube root of 5 minus 5 minus 2, which equals minus 2. 
So we can actually find the answer f minus 1 of 5, which is minus 2, by working out the inverse, which is here. The problem is, is that you need to make this leap by being able to factorise this in this form. And that's not easy to see. So it's much easier to use this method here uh, to find the inverse. OK, I hope you enjoyed that, um, uh, that video. Um, please subscribe to Cresty Academy channel if you want to see more. Thank you.